bigger and a better Season 3. This is what the organizers of the Mandawas Pride Basketball Association or MPBA are eyeing after the highly successful staging of the league's second season dubbed as Cebuano Cup. The MPBA Season 2 ended on Sunday, March 10, with the ARQ Builders winning the championship crown by beating the Artera Builders in their winner-take-all match, 82-77, at the Mandawa City Sports Complex. Co-commissioners Marion Joseph Ibanez and Fritz Edward Malina were elated with how the league Season 2 turned out. We exceeded our expectation. Uh, compared to Season 1, Mas, let's say today, mas daga ng tao, mas daga, mas grabe ang support sa crowd, uh, mas, mas grabe na gid ang uh, connection namo with the viewers. The MPBA Season 2 was participated by 20 teams ARQ Builders, Agalon's Garbage Howler, JDCB Ballers, Luigi Bersede Team Banilad, WJP HP Real Estate Incorporated, Angel Mary, Quadernos, Home Source, Outlaws, and Mitsubishi by Ziv Zolueta were bracketed in the Southern Conference. Grouped in the Northern Conference were the Artera Builders, Roncales, Truck and Trail, TSO and Co. Prey Boys, Steadfast Builders, Void, MTech, Darkies Commercial, Boss Macchiato, and Monteroyo Logistics Incorporated. League organizers are confident that more teams will sign up for Season 3 as they vow to look for ways to make the games more exciting. Coming up with a format that will give teams longer exposure and a bigger chance of qualifying to the next round will be implemented for next season. Malina assured its supporters that the MPBA is not after profit. What the league is promoting is to have an enjoyable tournament for the teams and the sponsors. At least, man, ang malinga ugya po ng teams, dili lang kayo, wala tan ni, ni aim o pangwarta lang ni liga ha. At least, malinga o ang mga team as, 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 as lang sponsors. At least, kandahan din sila mabalik sa mga for the next season. So, the MPBA had promised an exciting season too, and for league creator attorney Miguel Lumapas, the league delivered. We're happy, no, because when we started, we promised a bigger and better season two, and I think we delivered. Um, I was looking at the crowd karong gabi, apit na to na puno ang Mandawi City Sports Complex. So I think people are starting to get attention. The league is starting to draw attention, and hopefully we can continue to draw better talent, uh, bigger sponsors, and bigger teams. Teams para mas action ang atong season three. Lumapa said the MPBA season would not have been so successful without the support of various sponsors. We'd like to thank our sponsors. Uh, this would not have been possible without our presenter wins here, our co-presenters, Sunstar Cebu and Super Balita Cebu, our major sponsors, WD, WJV, Southworks Apparel for our official sportswear, our media partners, of course, MyTV Cebu and Cebu Daily News Digital, and Sunsport Basketball for our official Meanwhile, ARQ Builders completed a perfect run as it did not taste a single defeat in the entire season on its way to winning the championship crown at the expense of Artera Builders. It was a redemption of sorts for ARQ after it lost to Truck and Trail in last season's finale. Ian Ortega won the finals MVP award after he led ARQ in the title clinching win with 29 points. Four rebounds, three assists, and two steals. Ang gihatag sa akong tanda na para makaperform. Especially, pinaka-di na tumulinta ng gino. Siya yung nagahatag sa tanda. Kung wala siya, wala sa gino. ARQ led by as many as 23 points, but Artera moved within single digits in the closing minutes. Artera cut the deficit to just eight, 73 to 81, but time was simply not on their side as ARQ went on to steal the championship. ARQ coach Chalito Caro said, team familiarity was the key in winning the season 2 title. Familiar naman sa nako mga players kay actually kung na na ako eh na ako sa Cebu, mo coach ko sa ARQ na team. Mura gani advantage ako kay kay listo sa kuang part. Kanan nga players kay bao kay lang man ko. Ray Gonzaga led Artera with 21 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals and 1 block. The thrilling championship match that was witnessed by a sizable crowd was a fitting end to the fledgling Recreational Basketball League Season 2. Organizers have yet to finalize the date of the league's resumption, but one thing's for sure, 
something special is in store for MPBA fans. MPBA is here to stay, so expect a bigger and better Season 3 with more teams and more players. This has been Andrea Patania-Matthew for MyTV Cebu.